What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the MSU Dynasty here on NCAA Football 06. Looking at the recruiting, we actually uh, had Mark Hughes Davis there. He visited last game against Idaho. I guess I changed it. I don't remember uh, if I, I don't think I recorded it or whatnot. Uh, so we actually moved up on his list. George Carter right in the middle. Uh, we seem to be competing with Ohio State for both of them. So hopefully we can get at least one of them. Looking at our season stats, uh, we've had three players, three quarterbacks line up under center, and uh, I guess Casey Bunham has been playing the best out of the three of them. He's the only one who has yet to throw an interception, must, much less have more interceptions than touchdowns. Running the ball has gone pretty well for us. We've got some good receivers. Um, they're making some big plays and whatnot. Um, uh, and then looking at this defense... Derek Marcy has the second amount, the second most TFLs on the team. He also has five sacks to lead the team. Conco, three interceptions. Allen's got one. Hardy's got one. Hill has one. And then Damian Washington also has one. Today we're going to be taking on the Eastern Washington Eagles. Their quarterback, 12 touchdowns, seven interceptions, been sacked 10 times. Uh, they are another team who does not have a run game going. Both of their running backs, 2.4 yards per carry. Ouch. They do have Abdullah, though. He has over 600 receiving yards and three receiving touchdowns, so he's a solid option for them. Their offensive line is okay, I guess. Uh, this guy's got nine TFLs and four sacks. They've done a, a decent job getting to the quarterback. They've also picked him off four times. Going into this game, we are 2-6, and six, and they are 0-8. Oh so let's not lose to a winless team here. So the game here is in Cheney, Washington. Unfortunately, they don't got the red field like they do in real life here. Of course, you got Boise State. They got the blue field. Eastern Washington, they play on this red, pink type field. Uh, but they don't got that here in this game. Kicking it off here to Noble. He gets an open space here. The first play of the game. The first kickoff of the game is returned for an Eastern Washington touchdown. Man, last time that happened to us, first play of the game, return for a touchdown, that was the CSU game. And uh, let's just say that game did not go well for us, so hopefully that's not a sign of things to come today. A nice run there by Isaiah Afonso. He's going to pick up some solid yardage. Third down and three now, and Anderson's looking to run. He's going to the left side. He's going to pick up the first down and more. First down and 10 for the Bobcats. Anderson gets stuck on the center, pitches it out over the middle. It's just going to fall incomplete, though. Here goes Afonze running up the gut. That's going to pick up about six yards. Third down and four. Anderson going over the middle, but he's going to be picked off there by Thurman. So Anderson, he comes back from his suspension. I did decide to start him at quarterback over Casey Bunham, uh, for now at least. But throwing an interception on the first drive of the game, not good. Derek Marks, here he comes in on the sack, gets his annual sack of the first quarter. He seems to have a little bit of a trend. He'll get a sack in the first quarter and then disappear for the rest of the game. Uh, hopefully he can get more than one sack today. That'd be nice. Fox has the reception, turns it upfield, and he has breakaway speed, I guess, here as he takes it all the way to the end zone. Man, he doesn't even have 90 speed, but he's running about as fast as the Fox. 69 yards to the end zone for the touchdown. My goodness gracious. And all of a sudden, Eastern Washington, a team that has not won a game yet this season, is up on us 14-zip. I know Conkle's not the fastest guy in the world, but still, Fox isn't the fastest guy in the world either, but we weren't able to catch him. That pass picked up like no yards originally, but he turned that into a lot. So on the kick return, we got Logan Jones here. He gets some nice blocking, outrunning a man here, taking this down the left sideline. Is anyone going to catch him? 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Bobcats. So we're able to come up with a big play of our own, our own kick return touchdown. So it's just going to be a seven-point game. Going over to the right side, Noble has the reception down the sideline. He already has one touchdown today, and he's going to take it all the way. No, my goodness, what is happening? Big play after big play after big play today so far. It's a 14-point game again. Troy Anderson's going to take this on the left sideline now. A good run for him. Fighting for everything he can get. He gets us in Eagles territory. First down and 10. Anderson looking to throw. Going to the end zone. Off the hands of Travis Johnson there. 
Second down and 10. It's a toss out to the right for Afonze. He gets the edge here. Picks up the first down and more down the right sideline. What do you know? It's another big play today. He takes it all the way to the end zone for a Bobcat touchdown. And this looks like it could be a, a shootout. Looks like this game could be like 51-54. Uh, hopefully we're the team that's going to score 54. Blair has the reception on the right side there. And thank goodness that play doesn't go for a touchdown. Second down and four. It's a direct snap to Douglas, who loses the football. Conkle's able to strip that one out. He's gotten a lot of forced fumbles, ripping the ball out and whatnot, but unfortunately, we're not able to recover. And then on third down and short, Blair has the reception and moves the chains. Play action there. Moody has the catch, but out of bounds. Second down and ten. Uh, Mark Ellis, he's looking to throw, going over the middle. Anderson has the reception. That's going to pick up six yards. Looking to throw, Abdullah with that catch moves the chains. First down and 10, Marcellus going over the middle. Abdullah with another reception there, his number one wide receiver. Back-to-back -back receptions for him. Into the second quarter now, first down and 10. Play action, going to the end zone. And what a catch there by Abdullah, going up, grabbing that one, keeping his feet in bounds. Eastern Washington now is going to lead by 14 again. Here goes Afonze trying to get another big run. He'll pick up nine yards. I'll take it. Second down and one. Afonze goes nowhere on that carry. Third down and one. Anderson going to take this to the right. He's going to take it himself and pick up the first down and move the chains. First down and ten. Play action pass here. Anderson going over the middle looking for Travis Johnson, but it's going to be broken up. On second down and ten, Afonze is stuffed in the backfield. Third down and 11 now. Anderson looking to throw. Under some pressure. Running to his right. Throwing across his body. I went to L1 instead of R1. I was trying to go to Afonze. Instead I end up throwing across my body. And the Eagles are going to have the football inside of the 10 yard line. Because of that costly mistake there. Just not good. I had Afonze open. He might have been able to get something after the catch. But that's what happens when you push the wrong button. Uh, you make stupid mistakes like that. And uh, you're going to pay. First down and goal for Eastern Washington at the 7-yard line. Another play-action pass here going to the right side. That one's going to fall incomplete. Second down and goal. Play-action yet again. Marcellus looking to throw. Going to the corner of the end zone. Broken up by Braden Conkle. Third down and goal now. From the 7-yard line, Eastern Washington looking to throw. Under some pressure. Going to the corner of the end zone. What a catch there by Fox. Washington in coverage there. Unable to break it up. And, man, all, we're down 21 points now. Anderson is going to pitch it out to the right for Isaiah. Afonze, that's going to pick up about four or five yards. On second down, Anderson's looking to throw. Stepping up into this one, trying to go to Davis, but it's going to fall incomplete. Anderson yet to complete a pass to a Bobcat. He's completed two to Eagles, though. Taking a deep shot here for Travis Johnson. Off his hands there. The safety did come in to make a hit there. He's unable to bring it in. And now we're going to have to punt yet again. So punting this one away. My punting ha hasn't actually been that bad. But Noble's punt returning has been pretty good so far today. Taking this one down the right side. Gets it across the 50-yard line. Good field position for Eastern Washington. Our defense, they can't stop anything right now. They can't stop a bloody nose. Uh, hopefully they can get a stop on this drive and, and knock it us in an even bigger hole. Second down and five. Marcellus looking to throw. Going over to the left side. Fox has the reception and the first down. Under two minutes left to go now in the half. Going over the middle. Moody has the reception. That's going to pick up nine yards. Second down and one. Looking to throw. Going over to the right side there. Another catch for Moody. Moves the sticks. First down and 10. They're going to hand it off to Douglas who goes up the gut. Powers his way into the end zone for another Eastern Washington touchdown. Yikes. That's five touchdowns given up by this defense. You got to remember there was that one kick return touchdown. But still, uh, oh man, we've only put up two touchdowns. They've been able to put up six. Trying to go over the middle. It's going to fall incomplete. So now on third down, Anderson rolling to his left. He's got to use his legs. That's what he's going to do. Down the left sideline, a big run for him. Powering for everything he can get across the 45-yard line. Troy Anderson, we're not going to go down without a fight. Anderson now taking it on the dry. Picks up five yards. 
Second down and five. Anderson running to his right. Is he going to try to run? No, he's going to throw and finally gets his first completion today to a Bobcat. Coy Steele has this reception inside of the 20-yard line now. We got to get a touchdown on the board here. We all know my field goal kicking is really shaky. Anderson rolling to his left. He's going to scramble. Can he pick up the first down? Diving to the end zone. Touchdown, Bobcats. We really needed that. We're only going to be down by 21 now. Only 21. But the way this game is going, you never know what's going to happen. So now Eastern Washington, they're going to throw the ball there to Noble. He picks up some solid yardage. 20 seconds left now. A nice run there by Douglas. He stiff arms a man. He's in open space across the 30, across the 20. Can Damian Washington catch him? Thank goodness he brings him down inside of the five-yard line. First down and goal. They're going to give it to Douglas. He's going to be short of the end zone. Thank goodness. One second left on the clock, though. That's enough time to attempt a field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. So that's going to send us into halftime down by 25. The score is 45 to 20. Our defense can't get a stop to save their lives. And our offense isn't even playing half bad. Yeah, we got those turnovers, but um, still, we, we've gotten into the end zone three times in the first half. Johnson going over to the right, or not Johnson, but Johnson with the reception there. Anderson going over to the right. A nice connection to Travis Johnson gets us in Eagles territory. Now Kevin Cassis has the reception. That's going to pick up nine yards, make it seven actually. Second down and three. Anderson under some pressure, running to his left, evading defenders here. He's just going to take a shot deep for Coy Steele, who actually comes down with this one, but out of bounds. Third down and three. Anderson, a quick strike to Kevin Cassis. Picks up just enough for the first. First down and ten. Play action pass here. Anderson running to his right. Taking a deep shot for Travis Johnson, but there's two Eagles there to knock that one away. Second down and ten. Down goes Anderson. He was keeping his eyes downfield, and because of that, he takes a sack. Third down and 20. Anderson running to his right. Taking a shot to the end zone for Travis Johnson. What a catch. He comes down with it into the end zone for the Bobcat touchdown. And we're not out of this game yet. Anderson, a great throw on the run. Travis Johnson barely into the end zone, but that's enough for the touchdown. And as I already said, we're still in this game. As you see, though, I did miss one of the extra points, so we only have 27. Going over the middle there, that one is dropped. Toss out to the right for Douglas. He's going to throw it back to his quarterback. Broken up by Conkle, though. Third down and 10. This defense has got to get a stop. Going over to the left, but we're not able to do that. Damian Washington giving up that catch there. First down and 10 now for the Eagles. Play action going over to the right. Incomplete as the receiver wasn't really looking for the right spot for the football there. That pass is going to be broken up. Third down and 10. Another chance for this defense to, do, to get a stop. Can they do it? A deep shot to the right. Abdullah has the reception inside of the five-yard line. Man, this defense, they can stop you on first and second down. But on third down, they are a wide open door. Gibson giving up a big play there. First down and goal. Douglas has the ball, and he is in the end zone for the touchdown. Man, 51 points by Eastern Washington. 52 points now after the extra point, and we're not even in the fourth quarter yet. Man, this is this is not good. Anderson looking to throw on second down. Running to his right. He's going to scramble. He's going to pick up a first down. Working down that right sideline. Gets us in Eastern Washington territory across the 40-yard line. First down and 10. Anderson under some pressure, and he's going to be sacked there. He's going to lose about five yards. Five yards make it nine yards. Second down and 19. Anderson rolling to his left. He's going to throw on the move there, and it's going to be picked off by Thurman. Looking for Lance McCutcheon, but instead Troy Anderson throws his third pick of the game. Man, this is brutal against a winless team nonetheless. Marcellus looking to throw. Going over to the right side. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10. He's looking to pass yet again over the middle. Incomplete. Third down and 10. Can we please just get a stop? Marcellus taking a deep shot here. Thank goodness it falls incomplete. Because if our defense gave that up, man, I was going to let him have it, man. So now the Bobcats got the football on offense now. Afonze running. Picks up five yards. Afonze running to the right side now gets a little bit of an edge enough to pick up the first down. 
30 seconds left in the third quarter. Anderson rolling to his left. He's going to throw. He's got Kevin Cassis. A big play there. Gets us across the 30-yard line. Anderson, he's been pretty efficient. If you turn a blind eye, turn a, turn a blind eye. If you forget about the turnovers, that's all I'm really trying to say here. Anderson, he's going to take this one on the scramble, and he's going to take it all the way to the end zone for his second rushing touchdown today. It feels kind of hopeless in this game, but hey, we're not out of it yet. The way this game has been going, who knows? Maybe we could put up seven touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Maybe not seven, but you know what I'm trying to say. We could maybe score a lot. Play action here. Derek Mars getting the sack. Nice to see him getting a sack here late in the game. We enter the fourth quarter now. Marcellus taking a deep shot there. Jackson has the reception and picks up the first down on second down and long. Marcellus looking to throw. It's tipped and intercepted. Jockway Allen gets the INT there. The much needed turnover for the Bobcats. Tipped at the line. Allen comes down with the pick. First down and 10. Anderson taking a deep shot here for Kevin Cassis who was open but overthrew him. Second down and 10. Anderson running to his right. He's got Travis Johnson on the right side there. A great throw and catch. Gets us out to about the 30-yard line. Troy Anderson running to his right. Throwing off his back foot. Kevin Cassis has the reception. Runs a man right over. We get a, a nice close-up on that. And he picks up the first down. Anderson looking to throw. Rolling to his left. Is he going to use his legs again? No, he's going to throw to the end zone. A diving attempt there by Coy Steele, but unable to bring it in. Troy Anderson under some pressure now. Running to his right. Dumping it off to Afonze. He has the catch, but he's not going to pick up anything. So now on third down, going to the end zone. It's going to be knocked away. Fourth down and 10. We might as well go for it. we got to get a touchdown. Anderson rolling to his left. He's going to pick up a first down and more. Touchdown. Bobcats as he gets his third rushing touchdown today. So believe it or not, we're technically not out of this game. It's just a two possession game now. But our defense has got to get a stop. Noble has that reception. He picks up nine yards. Second down and one. Marcellus looking to throw. Going over the middle. What do you know? Abdullah has the reception. Runs over Damian Washington. And gets it out across the 50-yard line. First down and 10 here for the Eagles. They're going to run it with Douglas. He's not going to pick up anything though. Second down and nine. Douglas has the reception. Not the reception, but the carry there. But uh, he's tackled in the, law, in the backfield for a loss. Marcellus looking to throw. What do you know? Fox has the reception and the first down and a touchdown. <sighs> this defense man giving up another touchdown. This one from 44 yards out. So this offense might as well try some, some big plays and whatnot. A deep shot here. Isaiah Alfonso has the reception. He gets past all the coverage. And he's going to bring it into the end zone for a Bobcat touchdown. 80 yards out. Troy Anderson, another big touchdown for him. It's been a bittersweet day for him as uh, I think that's his fifth touchdown total today. His second passing one there. A great throw on the run. Afonze with that catch brings it all the way to the end zone. But will it be enough to uh, have us inch back into this game? Two score game with less than two minutes to go in the game. That run there by Douglas goes nowhere and Montana State burns a timeout. Jones goes up the middle, stiff arms a man, but does not pick up enough for the first down. Third down and three. We're going to give it to Douglas. They're not going to give it. No, we're not Eastern Washington. They're going to pick up the first down, man. You see what's going on here? We cannot get a stop on third down to save our lives. And yeah, we lose to the winless Eastern Washington Eagles. Man, that was a rough game. I mean, after our game against Idaho last week, I felt pretty confident. Idaho, the, the Vandals, they're a pretty good team. Uh, we're going into Eastern Washington, and we lose. Troy Anderson's first day back after a two-game suspension. Two touchdowns, three interceptions. 168 yards rushing and a touchdown to Fonze. 92 yards rushing. I think I'm going to change these sliders next uh, game just because, I don't know, it, to make the kicking easier and just so I can enjoy the game better at the very least. Now, if we're blowing everybody out, then I'll change the sliders back, but uh, I'm going to change it to the second most difficult difficulty. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a moist rest of your day, and until next time, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.